Dear friends, welcome to my new video. In this video, I am going to explain an error related to Tailwind CSS. I am using Tailwind CSS in my project. Before going to the error, I have one request. Please consider to subscribe my channel because by subscribing my channel, you are actually encouraging me to create more videos which may help you or others in the future. So, let us discuss the Tailwind CSS problem. First, let me open new terminal and run the command npm build hyphen CSS. Look at here. Build hyphen CSS. Our command is npx Tailwind CSS hyphen i src styles.css hyphen o public styles.css hyphen hyphen watch rebuilding okay we got a warning no utility classes were detected in your source files if this is unexpected double check the content option in your tailwind css configuration and a documentation also given here so we have to fix this warning because no utility classes were detected in your source files. So our Tailwind will not work properly in this project. Before that, let me explain what is this build-css. So we have to go to package.js. Here in this scripts portion, I created a command build-css. Actually, this is the command which works under this build-css. npx Tailwind CSS hyphen i source styles dot CSS. This is source styles dot CSS. Here we have base components and utilities from Tailwind CSS in this SRC folder. Okay. Let us go to package.json again and hyphen o it stands for output. Based on this src styles.css file content, we have to output new file or we have to generate new file at this location public styles.css. It is here public we have styles.css and hyphen hyphen watch to observe always when we update modify it again. So when we run this npm run build hyphen css actually based on this src styles.css it contains base components and utilities from tailwind css and output a new file at this location public styles.css actually it is here public styles.css if we delete this file and run this command again automatically this styles.css will recreate again by running this command but our problem here is we can ger generate that file but we got a warning while generating that file no utility classes were detected in your source files that is the warning and they have given a hint double check content option in your tailwind css configuration so let us go to tailwind.config.js here this is the content option look at here we are specifying we have to consider the content at this location src zero or more subfolder and any file any file name ending with the extension html and js so let us go to src actually we don't have any subfolders we don't have any files ending with the extension html and js so this is the problem actually instead of pointing this base components and utilities style sheet we have to mention our public folder where we have our HTML files. We have category HTML, home HTML, subcategory HTML, and our assets, images. So, 
here actually we have to specify our folder where we have HTML and JS. In my project, I have named it as public. This name can be anything. Also, this name can be anything. But, but this is the concept. We have to specify the location where we have our HTML and JS file. For me, it is, it is public. Let me save it. Look at here. Let me close it. This one. Let me clear. Let me run it again. Let us check whether we will get the warning. No, we don't have any warning. If we modify, still rebuilding, it is successful. So, make sure that you have given the content portion or content option in the proper location. It should be pointed to correct location. It can be any location, any name, a public or you can mention output folder, you can mention common folder, any name. This SRC and public can be any name, but this is the concept. The, it should point into the uh, HTML and JSS file. Okay, so I hope this video is helpful for you. This video may help you uh, help to solve your problem. Okay, one more request. Please consider to subscribe my channel so I can create more videos in the future which may help you in the future. Thank you.